Right now, before we get to Westminster Whispers, uh, we are going to uh, talk about the Hollywood legend uh, that is uh, Kirk Douglas. Uh, now, we are saying farewell to him, the news of his death at the age of 103 overnight. He was, of course, best known for the 60s classic Spartacus, but he did rise to fame during the golden age of Hollywood with films like Champion, for which he won his first Oscar nomination. Here's a reminder of both films. Tomorrow, huh? Well, why not? You got as much chance of marrying me tomorrow as today. That's no chance at all because, uh, guess what? I'm already married. I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! We, uh, we all remember that one, don't we? Well, let's uh, talk to uh, Van Connor, who's Talk Radio's film critic, and joins us now. Good morning to you, Van. Good morning to you, Good Julia. Morning. What horrible news to wake up to. I know, exactly. He, I mean, when we use this phrase, Hollywood legend, it is used uh, rather obvious, I think, a lot of the time. He genuinely was. I mean, he was uh, not only was he uh, uh, such a well-known actor for so many years, I mean, six decades, uh, he was, of course, uh, married twice, four children, including, of course, the Oscar-winning actor himself, um, uh, Michael Douglas. Absolutely. He was one of the last bastions of the golden age of Hollywood, of the old school Hollywood studio system. He's a, an icon for numerous reasons, humanitarian reasons, political reasons. We forget that he, he was one of, those, one of the few actors who was on the right side of history as far as demolishing the blacklist and facing off against the House on American Activities Committee and how all that went. And of course, you know, he was just a terrific actor in and of himself. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. He, he never actually won an, act, uh, an acting Oscar for any individual film, though. They, he, they, did, uh, they did eventually, the Academy, honour him with a Lifetime Achievement Award. They do this quite a lot when the individual work, perhaps not been up to it, the overall body of work is worthy of it. Oh, absolutely. When you've got an actor with the supreme talents of Kurt Douglas, it just comes a point where you have to say, he needs awarding for something, he needs some recognition in this, and giving him the, uh, the honorary, honorary award in the, uh, in the mid-90s, that was, I, re- I believe, Hollywood's way of saying, do you know what, we've got to recognise you, we're, get, we're getting on in years, this has gotten silly, here you go. Well, indeed. I mean, look, he lived to a certainly a ripe old age. And there's a wonderful tribute paid to him uh, by Michael Douglas. Uh, he says, to the world, he was a legend, an actor from the golden age of movies. He lived well into his golden years, a humanitarian whose commitment to justice and the causes he believed in set a standard for all of us to aspire to. But to me and my brothers, Joel and Peter, he was simply dad, uh, and which I think is absolutely love. He says that Kirk's life was well lived. Uh, what do you think he's most going to be remembered for, though? Because I'm thinking, the, you know, I am Spartacus is still still a, a phrase that is, this, you know, is 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 used in your know, common parlance, but uh, but he, as you say, he, he did play a very important role when Hollywood kind of first got political. Uh, very much so, but I think everything he'll be remembered for. I think that clip is that's the cherry on top of an, an impressive in his career. That that's the moment I think we're going to take away. I, I think anyone would struggle to not hear the name Kurt Douglas and immediately think I am Spartacus. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us, uh, Van Connor, Direct Talk Radio's film critic. Appreciate that. It's coming up to seven at thirty-seven now. It's time for Westminster Whisper.